Hello dear friends, a very good morning. May God bless all of you and bless you indeed. I want him to bless all of you, those who love me as well as those who hate me. In the name of Jesus, I want you to be well because this is the second greatest commandment, to love God above all things and the second commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. So to love is to wish the person well. You don't have to feel in order to love. You just have to wish the person well. Very simple, isn't it? But this is very powerful. Pay attention. Yesterday we spoke about the episode where God appeared to Abraham and said, I am Almighty God, walk before me and be blameless. Well, you can say, or we can say, oh wow, God, you appeared to Abraham and you spoke to him, you should appear to me as well. Right? Come on. I'm also a human being. <laughs> Isn't it? However, don't you forget that God appears to all of us. He appears to you. How did God appear to Abraham? He spoke to him. Abraham didn't see God's face. He didn't see God's face, but he heard his voice. And you also hear. We also hear the voice of God through His Son, the Lord Jesus. Jesus said like this, If you abide in me, which means if you are believing in me, and keeping your mind, your intellect, your reasoning, your intelligence focused on me, on what I did, on what I said, on what I will do, in my promises, then, and also my words as well, he said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, and this is the heart of the matter, because God speaks to us, He is speaking to you. I am speaking, repeating and echoing His voice to you and to me as well. If you abide in me, meaning I believe in Him very well, I believe and I am in Jesus. I was born of the water and of the Holy Spirit, I believe. And because of my belief, then His words have to abide in me. Because those who are born of God, obviously, have the Word of God constantly in their mind, their intellect, Sometimes the person may have fallen, they may be fallen, they may be away, they may be cold in their faith, they may be discouraged in their faith, but the Word of God is in there, in their conscience, and they know that, isn't it? You who are watching me, that are far away, you backslid and you are there experiencing a bit of hell because of your lack of communion with God. Very well. But His Word is there inside of you. One day you heard the Word. One day you were hot. One day you were in your first love. Today you have many lovers, but one day you were in your first love. Yes or no? Very well. His words are there inside of you, in your conscience. And when you hear the word of God again, 
then your conscience brings up, it reminds you and makes you remember of what you already heard. And that's God is speaking to you. That's God is speaking to you. Did you know that? He's speaking to you. So Jesus said, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Ask. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost anything to be a bit humble, just a little bit humble, and say, oh my God, I apologize, forgive me for all the time I wasted. I know that you are seeing me, you watch over me. I'm not sure if you answer me, but you promised, you said there, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, well, perhaps I may not be in you, perhaps I'm not in you, your words don't abide in me, but deep down, deep down in my soul, there's a belief in you, I believe you exist, you are seeing me, and your words have been with me, they abide in me, in my conscience, so even though I don't deserve, even though I don't deserve, I will make use of this promise, of this word that you left. Ask what you desire, what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Of course, you will ask what you desire, but God will only do what is of His will for you. Don't forget that. Don't you try to fight God and ask Him to give you a weapon so you can kill someone. He's not going to give you that, and you know it. So He will give you everything that you need, that you need, that is a necessity. But you have to start walking with Him. And that's what He said to Abraham, Walk before me, walk in my presence, before me, and be blameless. So, if you want to reestablish your relationship with God, how about if you came today here in the Temple of Solomon at 8 p.m.? Oh, but I live far. Oh, please, please, don't come with excuses. Don't find obstacles. Don't put stones in your own path. Do not dig a hole between you and God. Do your part. Make an effort. Do something for your own good because it's you who need God. God doesn't need you. Don't forget that. You are the one in need, isn't it? We are the ones who need Him. He doesn't need us. He doesn't need anything. He doesn't need anything. But we need Him. Yes, because without Him, we are John Doe's. We are nothing without Him. So, if you want, if you want to rescue, to go back to your first love, if you want to return to having communion with God again, then tonight here in the temple at 8 p.m., I will be here ministering the Word of God and praying, interceding to God on behalf of those who, like you, have been lost away from Him, discouraged, sad, upset, in inverted common here, feeling wronged, wronged, somebody did something against you, whatever it is. 
if you are in this terrible situation, perhaps even worse, you are trying to end your life even, give him a chance. Give him a chance. It doesn't cost you anything. You won't need to pay anything. What will you spend? What will you lose? You've got nothing to lose. So if you have nothing to lose, then give a chance, give an opportunity to yourself. And God obviously will accept you. He will accept you for sure. Because we have to convince God that we truly want. Because if we do not convince Him, then nothing is going to work. Convince God. Do your part. If you have no bus to come here, then get the train. If there is no train, there is a car, there is a Uber. If there is no Uber, there is a chariot, a horse, a bike, a scooter. Or you have your own legs. Walk to church. Do. Show God. Show God that you truly want Him. And then, yes, you will see the result. Okay? Later on at 8 p.m. here in the Temple of Solomon. We are going to end it here. May God bless you all. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God.